Hey there, Wordsmith family. Welcome back to the Wordsmith YouTube channel, where we dive deep into the magic of music, one reaction, and vocal analysis at a time. I'm Carl, your friendly neighborhood vocalist, poet, and movie reviewer, and I'm here to bring your song recommendations to life. Today, we're going to be reacting to and vocally analyzing Tia Mukosi by Dimash Kodai Bargan, Lara Fabian, and Aida Garofulina. If you watch and end up liking what you're seeing, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and share this video with your friends. Your support means the world to me and helps us grow this amazing community. Want to take your support a step further? Consider becoming a patron, a YouTube channel member, and maybe even use the Super Thanks feature. Every contribution helps keep this channel alive. And speaking of support, I've started a goal on Buy Me A Coffee where your donations will directly impact the quality and quantity of our content, ensuring that it's the best that it can be. The link will be in the description below. All right, thank you very much. That's enough out of me. So let's dive straight into it, shall we? All right, here we go. Meldu, звезды фигурного катания. На сцене Лара Фабиан, Аида Гарифулина, Димаш Кудайберген. Could have sworn I saw Igor Kutor. It is Igor Kutor. Okay. That's so cool. All right. This will probably be amazing then. I'm getting... I'm getting Disney vibes. Is that either? Baritone. Nice. Okay. Soprano. Mezzo. Oh, it's oh, that's gorgeous. Oh. Sorry, that was okay. Let's that is so beautiful. Let's analyze that and break it down a little bit, shall we? First thing I noticed when I played it is the arena looks very well, the arena looks beautiful but it's an ice arena. So that's something you don't see every day. The atmosphere sort of adds an interesting twist to the singing experience because you wouldn't usually have a singing performance at an ice arena because it would be very cold, but obviously both of them would be very well warmed up. But Dimash, okay. Again, incredible talent. He's hitting these tones in his baritone range, which he does consistently well, and I've heard him sing in his baritone on multiple occasions. It's impressive how he maintains that precision and control and just speaks of his incredible range. As for Aida Garifulina, this is my first time hearing her, and wow, she sounds stunning. Her singing has a rich operatic quality to it, and it's clear that she does have a strong background in opera, and being classically trained, of course. And the great indicator of this is the portamento, which is a lovely technique where the voice smoothly slides from one note to the other. And portamento is literally an Italian term that means to carry. And in vocal training or in vocal pedagogy, it really adds emotion and depth to the performance. Very, very good thus far. Okay, so let's keep this going. I think this is going to be very, very special. Just want to bring it back a little bit. Hey. Oh, I didn't notice that. There's ice skaters. Oh. Oh, hello, Lord. Oh, beautiful. Oh, wow. 
they okay let me let, let's talk about what happened because some really amazing things just transpired and i have to take notice of those okay we're under two minutes in and everything about this performance is just beautiful and it's hard not to get swept up in it the thing that's super interesting to me especially on the last bit of that section is how their vocal lines just came together Dimash and Ida sing in perfect unison especially with their vibrato if you pay attention And achieving that type of harmony to sync your vibratos like that, it requires a lot of practice and a lot of skill. The execution was seamless, truly showcasing their talent, both individually and as a duet, which is going to become a trio. It's a wonderful example of teamwork and music, making their sound so captivating. Really, really good thus far. I'm loving this. Okay, so I'm going to back up a little bit. And I think Laura Fabian will come in. Notice I've a brado, perfectly in unison. What a beautiful timbre, my words. Oh, you're enjoying it. He's interesting. He's changed the tonal quality of his baritone He's slightly higher. Oh, that tambo is stunning. So beautiful. Oh, this is gorgeous. I can't, I can't. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. I want to talk about Lara Fabian. This reaction and vocal analysis is super interesting for me because it's me listening to two other artists for the first time as well. Either Garofolina and Lara Fabian. Lara Fabian, she's got such a focused quality to her vocals. It's outstanding. Her style, just of this, it leans more towards pop and love ballads. It's characterized by a straight tone that really emphasizes the emotional content of her vocal. So I would say that it's great to have her because it contrasts beautifully with Ida's operatic approach where her rich vibrato adds depth and flourish to her performance. And what's truly impressive as well is Dimash's ability to adapt his vocal technique to harmonize and blend with Ida or Lara. And earlier you would have noticed he adjusted his vibrato to match either style. And now with Lara, he slows down to complement her smooth sound. This is Ada. And that versatility makes him like a vocal chameleon, seamlessly shifting to align with the tonal qualities of whichever artist he performs. Like, for example, he quickened up the pace here with Lara Fabian. incredible skill and artistry and it really enhances the overall performance so this is outstanding super big brain singing from Dimash okay I anticipate all three of them are going to start singing because I did see Ida bringing her mic up so really looking forward to this beautiful Oh. Oh, 
Yep. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, Alter. Okay, everyone's settling in. Oh, Alter. How long are you three holding that? Yay! <laughs> what a song. Oh my gosh. That was like absolutely phenomenal. There was... Mm. So that performance was... Yeah, I, I can't fault any of them on anything. They were all perfect. The way they each understood their exact role in the final note was remarkable. Dimash's low notes provided a resonant undertone that set a very solid foundation, while Lara filled the mid-range beautifully, adding richness and body to the sound. And then Ida's gorgeous soprano soared above all of that. She got, I think I heard like a F, F sharp five, maybe even higher. And she brings just a stunning brightness and all three of them tied up that song beautifully at the end. And the blend of their voices created a full-bodied, powerful sound that was just mesmerizing. It was such a perfect way to finish, and it just showcases not just their individual talents, but their incredible teamwork as well. Not to mention full credits to Igor Krutoy for bringing the three of them together. I don't know where this performance is or what the theme is, but it couldn't, but it could not have been executed any better love this thank you for recommending it in the comment section well thank you for joining me today wordsmith family that was an incredible deep dive into this brilliant uh, performance by Dimash Kudai Bergen, Aida Garofulina and Lara Fabian I hope you enjoyed the magic of music with me as much as I loved sharing it with you all and let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video, a reminder, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and share this with your friends and other music lovers. I always think that these videos should aid you in appreciating more about a song that you already love. Your support makes all the difference and helps me continue to build this amazing community together. And if you're feeling extra generous, consider becoming a patron or a channel member or using the super thanks feature below. Every contribution helps fuel my passion and elevate the quality of our content. Plus, don't forget about the buy me a coffee goal. Your support directly impacts what I can create for you. I can't wait to hear your thoughts on today's reaction, so feel free to drop a comment below. Until next time, be kind, be gentle, and be respectful to one another and help each other out when you can. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. Cheers.